Hello friends, welcome back to another video. We're here, Orlando based flight attendant. Hope you are doing fantastic. I got sent to Las Vegas for a little project and I wanna show you the room I got. Start off with the entrance, bathroom here on the left, a bathtub, a shower, toilet on this side and all the essentials, full length mirror. I don't like that we have a connecting door, but we're gonna let it go. Two queen beds. You have all the essentials like TV. And we got a nice little Vegas view. So like I said, I am here on a special project. I'm not on a flight attendant trip and we're not gonna vlog the special project. So I'm gonna say goodbye now and the next time I'm going to see you, I'll be done with my project and we'll go all around Vegas and explore Vegas together. Welcome to sometime later after the last time you saw me, I am still here in Vegas. I have a few options. So the first thing I can do is go to a Walgreens store, get an adult beverage, get lunch somewhere, and then sit at a park that's literally called the park and just have a nice little afternoon there. My second option is to go kind of like sightseeing, but I don't know that I, I'm in the mood for that. So I was thinking maybe I can go to the Bellagio Conservatory, can see the Bellagio Fountain. There's a couple other things in that area too. Planet Hollywood, maybe just go for a walk around there. Even though it's my second option, it's kind of like at the bottom. <laughs> and third is to go out and hang out with crew and friends, but I don't know what everyone's up to. So the whole planning, I don't know how long that's gonna take and I don't wanna sit here and you know, be planning for two hours to then end up doing nothing. I'm inclining more towards the first option and then, you know, just doing those two things, getting the adult beverage, the food, sitting at the park, and then whatever happens next, we'll do. Those are kind of the ideas that I have for now, but I'm gonna organize my room for a little bit and we'll see what we end up doing. Yeah, I'm ready, I have this lightweight jacket, even though it's kind of like denim material type of thing, but it's very light. I have this boxy t-shirt from Uniqlo and then I have a pair of jeans. I can remove this if I want to, if it gets too hot, it's currently like 60 degrees and it's anticipated to drop all the way to 49. So I wanna make sure I have something, you know, just in case I get cold. I'm officially done and I was now supposed to have a 30 hour layover, but that's not gonna happen because I have to go home. It's gonna be a long one. I am gonna fly from Las Vegas to Orlando and then I have to wait a few hours in Orlando to then hop on a flight from Orlando to Awadilla. I'm just gonna go for a walk. I have about three hours before I need to come back to the hotel, gather all my belongings and head over to the airport. I had a whole plan to explore all these things and I won't be able to do that now, but hopefully you guys can see a little bit of Vegas with me and you know, we can just walk around. It is currently 5.25 and I need to be back by 7.30 at least. So I don't really have a lot of time, but we're gonna do something. We're gonna walk around. I'm gonna show you what I find. And yeah, we'll continue on and then we'll just go home together. So let's do it. Vegas was my very first overnight when I started this flight attendant job. I got called at like 6 p.m. to work a red eye here to Vegas with 24 hours and then working a red eye back to Philly. So yeah, being here is exciting. I've not been to Vegas in a few months and we actually have Vegas layovers next month out of Orlando, but I didn't necessarily want to bid for those because there's a red eye coming back to Orlando. And you guys know that I don't do well with red eyes. Walking through these streets remind me of that one time where I had Vegas as my very first layover and it's kind of nice. I've been to Vegas multiple times since and I really like it, especially this time of year. I remember when I came here, it was probably like September or something and it was so freaking hot. Now it's like nice and cool, so it's easy to walk around. But man, when I came that time, whew, we had to walk through the stores and everything because it was so hot out there. But yeah, I'm approaching some of the areas that I wanted to see, so I'll show you in a minute what we're getting up to. And hopefully I get some food too. I was thinking about that, so I would like to get some food. If I can get something to go, that'd be great. But yeah, let's see what we find. I'm a little jealous. The FOMO is starting to kick in. I can hear the music. I can see people partying. Um, you guys know that I'm not a big partier, but honestly, 30 hours in Vegas be freaking nice. But you know, duty calls, so we gotta do what we gotta do. This is the park that I've been talking about where you can just come on here for like drinks and you can just sit here and just chill and relax. 
They have like benches and like different restaurants. Well, hello guys and welcome to a few days after you saw me in Vegas. I was supposed to have 30 hours in Vegas and we were going to explore, go out, do stuff. I was going to show you some of my favorite places in Las Vegas, but that did not happen and I'll tell you why. That same day that I got to Vegas, I got a call that my mom was rushed to the hospital and she had a minor complication post-surgery and so she was brought to the ER and didn't know what they were going to do. So I called her and I talked to her and I was like, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to go home? She's like, well, you're already there in Vegas, so you're kind of far and there is no direct flight from Vegas to San Juan or Aguadilla, which, you know, are my two options to come home and she said just stay there and then if you're able to come back earlier then that'd be great so i'll find someone to you know kind of like be here with me and all that the day that you saw me i had dinner with my crew that same night and then the next morning i had a 4 a.m wake up call and i worked on my little project and then i was done and instead of having the 30 hour layover in vegas i actually flew back to orlando had like a five hour layover in Orlando, so I went home. Actually slept, overslept. I almost missed a flight to Awadia, and then I flew home to Awadia, and I've been here since. I don't know when I'm going back to work. I dropped a trip. I have two more turns that I need to get rid of, but I'm kind of going, you know, day by day. I want to respect my mom's privacy, so I'm not gonna, you know, talk about exactly what's going on, but she's doing good what they had to do was just a, an additional procedure to make sure that she was healing properly so we're actually glad that she was able to come back and we're glad she was here the medical team did not want her at home by herself and obviously I was gonna come back the medical team decided that it was best for her to stay here so that they could monitor her you know every so often and so I've been coming here every day and I do have the option to stay overnight. However, since COVID, they don't allow um, like couches or you know one of those foldable beds. I don't know what they're called. And so there's only a chair. And my mom said, really, I don't need your help during the night because thank God she's able to sleep through the whole night. Like she doesn't really wake up until around 10, 11. She goes to sleep and then she doesn't wake up until like seven. I called her this morning on my way here at 7.34 and she was just waking up. So overall, she's doing good. Hopefully today she gets released or between today and tomorrow based on what the medical team said yesterday. So I am here now and I've been spending my days here. I'm so sorry that I cannot bring you on that Vegas experience I was so excited about, but duty calls. And so I'm glad that I was able to come home. I don't know when I'm going back to Orlando. I don't know when <laughs> I'm going back to work. So I will, like I said, just slowly drop you know, stuff on my schedule. Um, good thing is the turns I have are high hour turns. So I know they'll be gone quickly. And I know the reserve grid was green for a few days. So I'm not super worried about my schedule, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much what I have for you guys. I'm just gonna be here every day until she's clear to go home. I might stay home a few extra days just to make sure that, you know, she'll be fully healed. I at least hope that you enjoy the good views on that deadhead flight that I had from Orlando to Vegas. I was so excited. I had a great time in Vegas. Got to meet a lot of awesome people and had fun with my co-workers. But I think I'm going to say goodbye now. I don't want to extend this video any longer. I do appreciate you coming on here. So hopefully we have a video next week if I at some point end up going back to work. But if you did enjoy at least a room tour in Vegas, go ahead and smash that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe and I'm going to see you next Sunday for another Flytime video. Take care.